Okay, the next one is Omega Oils. They look like this. They're filled with fish oil. Not a vegetarian source if you're trying to do raw vegan, but I just, you know, for the benefit that it could give me, I prefer to give it a try and see what happens on my next um, medical exam. So basically, omegas help with any kind of inflammation. Now, we all know, if we don't know by now, the inflammation is actually what can cause cell death and inflammation is what's going to do you in any kind of inflammation you know when you get sick everything gets inflammation so you'll have a um, better brain function higher intelligence improved memory reasoning and focus and you'll have an awesome memory recall which I do not have so um, it's going to help to alleviate any kind of depression uh, if you have bipolar it can be helpful ADD ADHD uh, can also be very positive for cardiovascular disease. Um, you get protection t uh, from heart and stroke. It can lower your risk by 27% if you eat fish two times a week. Now, if you're not going to be eating fish two times a week, ta-da! But you can get omegas from other sources, which I will talk about in a moment. Um, also reduces menstrual pains, pain. So um, long chain fatty acid, that's what it's called, a long chain fatty acid. So they're mostly found in marine and plant oils. Um, it's not actually proven to lower cholesterol, but when you take large amounts, I mean fats, there's a book called um, Good Fats, Bad Fats, I think it's by Udo Erasmus, and it's like a book that's like this thick and it's very medical and... Um, I mean, if you want an awesome read, read it if it's really important to you. I have a copy. I've read the book. I, I totally don't understand what, what he's talking about most of the time, but the parts that I do get are pretty clear. So basically, in your body, you have to have the right balance of fats. You know what? If you have, you, if you have too much good fat, that's not good for you. If you have too much bad fat, that's not good for you. That will give you high cholesterol. So what you need to do is try and keep your fats balanced so that they can do their job properly and leave your, job, your body properly. All right, so um, let's see where we can get the salmon, tuna, mackerel. Uh, we said plant-based omegas um, have to be converted by your body first. So anytime you eat things like nuts, beans, seeds, uh, flax seeds, um, kidney beans, all of those things. And in the foods, we have spinach, mangoes, papaya, lettuce, bananas, avocados, blueberries. Um, your body has to convert that to the omega oil. Like It's going to extract the oil and convert it to the omega-3 after. So it's a little bit harder for your body to do it. In any case, still awesome choices. You don't have to take meat choices if you don't want to. Now, there is no recommended daily allowance set by the uh, World Health Organization. So you'll have to just go based on studies that you read yourself. And so personally, I take... I take four or five, depending, four or 5,000 milligrams, depending on how I feel. And some days, actually, you know, maybe there's a day or two in the week that I don't take any. If I've eaten a lot of plant fats that day, like if I have olive oil and I take sesame oil in a salad, and maybe I'm going to eat a handful of nuts or seeds and have an avocado with all that day, I, I don't usually take my omegas in that day. But in any case, please do your research on omegas. really important to understand the lipids in your body. All right, next. All right, and so now last but not least, one of um, the newer, this is newer, it's called resveratrol. Now there's no recommended daily allowance, so um, it says one capsule on the front is equal to six glasses of red wine. Basically, I take three a day because that's what it recommends on the bottle, and I haven't researched it enough to say that I would go above whatever recommendation that they put on there. So basically, um, you know, there's talk about resveratrol being, um, keeping you young and regrowing new cells that are actually healthier than the ones pre preceding it. So you might, you know, you might want to think about taking a pill like this. They're relatively expensive. I think this was $30 for 30 capsules. It was $20 for 30 capsules. And uh, in this bottle is only enough for one week. So you might not want to spend $100 a month on resveratrol, but um, in my case, since my issue is an artery issue, um, I definitely do because uh, it actually can regrow heart muscle, heart tissue, arteries. It, it's, like, it's like a little miracle if, it's, if it does what it actually 
what the studies are showing that it can do. Okay, so it's also an anti-mutagen, which means it stops cancer cells from multiplying. It stops them from reproducing. You might have one cancer cell, and then when it's time to reproduce, it will not be able to reproduce. So that's really great. Um, it relaxes your arteries. So again, we're talking about blood pressure issues. Um, it has brain protection, so neuroprotection. It's a nat natural estrogen, so... Um, if, if anyone's having estrogen replacement therapy, I personally am not, so I don't have any experience with that. But it definitely is, they do say that it can help with menopausal symptoms. Um, it does increase bone formation, and it decreases osteoarthritis. Now, I don't have any of those things, so I couldn't really give you testimonial on those things. Um, but it is part of the French paradox, you know, that uh, drinking red wine is good for you. So... If that's the case, then it's the red color that's in the skin of the grape. So it's a red grape. Um, basically, let me show you what a pill looks like. This is not the best quality one either. There are higher qualities that are more expensive, but it kind of just looks like this. It just has like a little red powder inside. You take one, you take one every time you eat like a major meal, breakfast, lunch, supper type of thing. Um, it is a powerful antioxidant, and it is also a blood thinner. Now, when you're taking it in conjunction with, um, I forgot to mention that the garlic is also. These two things right here, the garlic and the resveratrol, these two things are blood thinners. So if you're already on blood thinners, I wouldn't play around with that before I, I would speak to my doctor first and see if maybe you could replace slowly those blood thinners because of their taxing on your liver with a more natural solution. In any case, it's also in peanuts too, so if you eat a lot of peanuts, you're gonna get the same benefit. You just have to eat a lot of peanuts. So like this bottle says, one pill is equal to, to the red color in six glasses of wine. Now I'm never gonna drink six glasses of wine, so have fun eating your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and uh, enjoying yourself. In any case, um, that's all I wanted to say, and uh, thanks for the comments and the questions. Please subscribe, and please try to apply some of these things in your life, and if not, just try to research what's up with you and how you can change it so you can have a better life. So don't be shy to message me and um, find me on Facebook. Skype me once in a while. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, pass me to your friends, send me to your mom or your dad. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.